Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. You're the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, to get us started Ladies now, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong, Mr. Untouchable. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your side but on the other truly a fighter who can do it all and that guy will usually have the advantage on paper when you're a striker at this guy's level that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has nice strike over and over he's landing these big body kicks good series of strikes by him there great job of mixing it up staying active keeping busy doing great work Unable to land the head kick there. Grips the body there. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Goes 
the body with the knee. Lee's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Great punch. Liver kick. Try to establish that jab. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Big kick. Whiffs on the right hand. Nice. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Ooh, head kick Lance is hurt. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Uppercut lands for him. That punch, no good. And both guys really throwing with authority. Outstanding kick there by Lee. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, massive knee to the head. Combinations here. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Pretty good jab there by Lee. All right, single collar tie now. Very tricky when he throws that body to him. 15 seconds to go. Slips that left hand. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another works land. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. I mean, 
look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Well, missed on that one. Right hand upstairs. Oh, big punch land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, nice. Big call for punch lands. Now we get back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Why should the taller fighter land to me and Daniel Cormier to my right? I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, he's gonna shut your body off. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big kick land. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Back and forth we go. Knee to the body. Looking to land the leg kick now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. There. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too. Because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. The big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Can you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us? He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Table inches right there. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, uh, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Ooh, what a punch. What a round. Hey, stop. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely going to need to get stitched up after the fact. And... Blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this he round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike at the end of the night. Big body kick. And he landed the right hand there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Big kick. Big leg kick land. Good punch. Big body kick land. Just over three minutes now to go. That is a huge shot right there. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Watch knees to the body. Strong defense there to block the shot. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he got him hurt bad. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down. Oh, he might be out. back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Way to hide that leg kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his goal. Go finish his fight. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, tags him with that money left again. It's a good right hand right there. A beautiful strike. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, 
Nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Great work last night. You knocked him down. You've shown you have the power to put anybody away this round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body. And if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbows inside. Because otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Right. Slips the punch nicely there. Ooh, blocks the shot. What a punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Big kick lands. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the beat tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, and he lands in another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. And they separate. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. It's such a fast leg kick. Beautiful punch. Back and forth we go. Missed with that right hand. Under two minutes to go in the round. Ooh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Lee gets hit with a kick. on that leg kick. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds. His opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that 
can change the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at the control of the posture as that big oh, nice leg. Oh, the takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Sneaky head kick. Right now. Nice straight punch. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Ten seconds to go. Nice body kick. Nice body shot. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, good news, bad news here. Good news, round is over. Bad news, the cut on his lip, as nasty as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really, really bad. And you gotta think at some point the doctor's gonna get called in. If it's any worse than it is now, this fight is gonna be stopped. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Boom, big shot lands. Lee gets hit by that leg kick, may not be a... Oh! Good night at that land. Oh! Another knockout! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's up. But, oh, is he hurt. Well, it's one thing to have left. Oh, Unbelievable. He's, He's hurt bad. Get my hit. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch by Lee. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. with that one. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Nice head kick. Under three minutes now to go round five. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, he's able to get him down. Persistence aids, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top three? And he's back up. And they separate. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Tried to stay upright, 
but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, he's good. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! He's done it. He's done it. One minute to go in the fight. Change the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really, just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the most extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 28 seconds of round number five. Between the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus.